Hey beautiful YouTubers, it's Tess and this isn't as much of a tutorial as it is a let's watch Tess Reborn. <laughs> because I've had, be I've had people say they enjoy watching me Reborn so I figure I might as well. Here I have the Cooper kit which I didn't want but I got one of those mystery kits. Um, like mystery kit with body from Bountiful Baby. So I figured I'd work on it. Now with the Bountiful Baby Kits, they're pale enough that I don't have to do any green wash. And I like to do preliminary mottling layers to get a, um, a very realistic effect. And uh, I'm actually going to put my hair back. It's long. Like I was watching my 500 subscriber video and it was like, you know, down all the way down here. And I was like, jeez. I've always liked long hair. My mom gave me the boy cut because I cut my own hair when I was like four and I had like the boy cut for three years like you know like this all the way around and it was traumatizingly horrible so ever since then I haven't gotten my hair like cut cut. <laughs> I take really good care of my hair so that's very important. Take care of your hair. Alright so here I use the ultramarine, ultramarine blue and Genesis red to mix a very purplish color. Um, the blue is very strong, so normally when you're adding blue tones, you want to add just a little bit. But with this purple, I like it to be very purple, so it turns out being kind of half and half between red and blue. And in this layer, it's a preliminary mottling layer, but we're also going to be um, doing going over some areas of the face that have more red tones. Or more blushed tones <laughs> and like I said this is less of a tutorial and more of a watch me reborn so I won't be you know showing you guys exactly you know I'm painting right here because that's kind of hard to do without somebody helping um, without somebody filming me doing it Okay, so that's a very purple color. I don't know if you can see this. Kind of see it before it runs down the thing. Try not to spill it. <laughs> but yeah, it's very thin, very watery. It should like look like that on your, I don't know if you can even see that very much, probably not. Uh, it's 7 o'clock so it's not very light outside either. And then you're going to get uh, whatever you're going to use for mottling. I like to use a tweezed out sponge. And you're going to get some paint on your brush, dab it off, dab it off that way. Actually wait, with mottling I don't really dab it off much, I dab off the actual sponge. I like to do one, two, and then three. This is very, I'm, and I'm, I'm kind of just checking for consistency here. I like to start on the arms and legs. <clears throat> all right, so it's very thin. It hardly shows up at all, but that's kind of what you want. And since it hardly shows up, you don't really have to blend. I have very poor lighting in here, so. <laughs> Hopefully this doll will still turn out good. The only problem is I can't see where my very subtle mottling has gone when I'm dabbing. Let's see if there's any more lights I can turn on or bring down here. Probably be best to reborn in the daytime, but that like never happens with me. So, so yeah, you want to do the top of the hand and not the fingers and not the inside of the hand. Mm -hmm. And this paint, as you use it, it will kind of get thicker as you go. So I like to do the arms first and then the head and then the legs because that's kind of how much like leg mottling is a little bit heavier. Mm -hmm. 
Darn it. I keep getting that I the song Ireland from Legally Blonde the Musical in my head because I have a doll named Ireland. So whenever I think of her name, like my brain just goes to that song. When I'm lonely or feeling rejected, and I spend every night alone. What was I gonna do next? Hit. I pretend like I'm in Ireland where the Irish bagpipes drone. Singing is what I do when I don't know what to say. <laughs> do, do, do. And I like to go from the like the chin all the way around and then I'll go around the neck. And I think the faster you do this, the better it works. Because it keeps the mottling from like drying on you and you kind of forget where you were. And with this, since the head is so big, especially on like 23 inch babies like this one, um, I like to go all the way back and then I'll go all the way forward. You'll see what I mean. And that kind of keeps it more even. <laughs> And you will want to avoid any sort of pattern. So try it at like I twist my brush and um, sometimes I'll go like bomb 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 and then like kind of go over it. Right in the neck. And as I said, this layer is hardly noticeable at all, but it just kind of, um, it, it works especially well with the Bountiful Baby Dolls for giving them that complexion that you want. Um, I've noticed Doll Dreams have a bit more of a yellowish orangey tone, kind of a more, more of a glow than um, Bountiful Baby Dolls. Bountiful Baby's kind of pale, and you kind of have to make your own complexion. So I especially use this. Um, technique with Bountiful Baby Dolls. Lady time. And you don't want to get the top of the toe, so I actually nudged a toe over there. But you want to stop at the ankle. I feel like I should have some epic music playing. <laughs> just like as I'm going like this, just like <laughs> epic reborning. There. Oh, you're so pretty. Hey guys. <sighs> I should probably be talking a little bit louder. I don't know. This camera picks up sound a lot better than my phone camera, so. My parents should be home any minute. They might interrupt me, make me do chores. <sighs> I finished a lot of dolls, or a lot of work, not necessarily a lot of dolls this weekend. A lot of people are packed up to go. I was helping out Emily. If any of you guys ever need help reborning, 
just hit me up. I love helping people and I will even FaceTime or Skype with you as you're reborning. That's what I did with Emily and her doll turned out fantastic. She was like repairing her doll kind of. And I really don't have a set technique. I mean, some layers are definitely set, like I'm veining, of course, and blue undertones, but a lot of times I just kind of, I, I know the steps that you need and the things that need to happen. I know that well enough to um, kind of relax a little bit and just kind of use my creativity to decide what step I want to do next and what exactly I want to do in that step um, and then I get a flat brush with the same color and try not to mess up your mottling and I like to go over the lips hi hello how was the lake One sec, I'm in the middle of a video, so I'm not talking to myself when I'm talking one sec. Um, so yeah, I just do one layer on the lips, um, contrary, to, contrary to common belief. Okay, that didn't mess up anything. Contrary to popular belief, you do several layers on the lips. They are not going to turn out exactly how you want them the first time. I do a bunch of layers of very thin pinks and um, purples and reds just to kind of get that realistic lip effect. And you don't want to go too dark with lips. Sometimes they might look really, really subtle, but then once you're done with the baby and you put the air dry gloss on them, they look really great. Anyway, so I'm going to bake this layer at 265 for nine minutes, and I'm going to help unload groceries, and um, I'll let you guys watch me reborn this entire doll. Uh, unless it gets too late for me to make videos. Sorry. Love you guys. Bye.